Hey there, this is Atul and in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, the one of the sample exam questions from AWS Solution Architect Associate level certification, that's C03. And um, I'll be picking one of the question, explain that question end to end and see how you can answer this question. So the question is a big data analytics company. So you need to understand and read these questions carefully. We are talking in the context of big data analytics. They want to set up a AWS cloud architecture that throttles the request. So important point is throttling of a request in case of a sudden traffic spike. So as soon as if a, a sudden traffic increases, they should be, they need to have an ability to ability to throttle the request. So companies looking for AWS services that can be used to buffering or throttling to handle such traffic variations. Now, which of the following options can be used to support this requirement? And these are different various services like there is a API gateway, SQS, simple queue service, Kinesis, and then you have Amazon gateway endpoint. You also have Lambda here and you have elastic load balancers. So, so these are SNS, which is a simple notification service. So before you can answer this question, it will be good to have at least have a basic understanding of all these services. And if you don't know, I would highly recommend you to at least read and understand these uh, topics. This is very important if you're preparing for AWS Solution Architect Associate certification. Not only do it, don't do just for clearing the certification, but also use this exercise to basically understand these concepts and services. So first we are going to look at Amazon API Gateway. Now this is a request or this is a documentation for API Gateway. What this API Gateway does is it's basically a service for creating, publishing, maintaining, monitoring and securing your uh, APIs, which is application programming interface APIs, whether of type REST or uh, HTTP request, etc. So this is a API request. Now, what you need to do is when you're going on understanding to understand, look at does my API gateway or API gateways provide me a request to throttle a request or not. And this is where we go further. You can have a PDF or you can uh, download the PDF and just search for throttle or spike and keywords like that. That's how I interpret, I read these uh, documentations. Or if I have to get an answer, I've already searched for this. And if you look at here, now there is a option here, which is throttling uh, on this, which says throttling an API request for better throughput. So it gives me an a API gives me an uh, a request, which says that throttling the request. Basically I can throttle uh, my request. And if there are too many requests, it can, it can basically put them into queue and does all those functionality. So the option number one, definitely option one out of that API gateway looks uh, good and right answer for me. But before we move forward, we need to make sure that all the three options are correct and so on. So the next point you need to understand is what is Amazon SQS. Now, wherever you're watching this video, I'm going to give these documentation link so you can read them. So under the description section, there'll be more all these documentation section unit you can read. Now, second is SQS, which is a simple queue service and which is basically nothing, nothing but if you work with JMS queues or queues in the past, it offers your queues so that you can um, uh, you, you can use them in a distributed system software systems. Now, if you look at the, the documentation for SQS, the SQS also provide you the uh, facility. And if you read the documentation benefits of using SQS, and if you look here, it says that scaling transparently to handle any load request for spikes without any provisioning, uh, additional provisioning instructions. So it can handle the spikes as well. So the point number two looks correct as well. Now, before I go to the Kinesis, I definitely know that Kinesis is a data analytics, but I need to, uh, before I we jump onto the conclusion that, um, or let's read it, what exactly is Kinesis if you're new to Kinesis as well. So what it says is Amazon Kinesis data stream. If you have gone through and if I highly recommend you to go through these concepts before you jump into the certification, but the video like this will help you understand quickly what these topics are. So Amazon Kinesis data stream, it's a fully managed data stream service that you can continuously add various types of data such as click stream, application logs, logs, social media, etc. Now, if you look at from a question point of view, can it do the, uh, can it do basically throttling? So as far as I know, if you look at and search for spike here and say, so what it's saying is leveraging Amazon's SQS capability to scale transparently, which means occasionally if there is a load spike, it can use 
SQS. So my kinesis with the help of SQS can leverage and handle these load spikes. So because I have an option of Amazon kinesis, but with SQS, that answer looks right. But before we finalize that this is the answer, we need to rule out other possibilities as well. So make sure that this looks a potential candidate, but, be, but let's look at the other things as well. Next is Amazon gateway endpoint in option B. So if you look at what is Amazon gateway point, so the gateway uh, endpoint, basically it provides connectivity to your S3 and DynamoDB without any internet gateway or NAT gateway. So basically it's nothing but a connectivity option uh, where you don't need an internet gateway or NAT gateway and you can connect with this. And I couldn't find anything which talks about that I'm a gateway endpoint can do the throttling. So it doesn't look at right option to me because there's no throttling. So far A is an option. We've already looked at Amazon SQS and Kinesis. This is a good option. So I think for now time being, I'm going to rule out this because I know definitely Amazon API gateway does this for me. Next again, SQS, we've already done that. Now we need to look at SNS, which is simple notification service and Lambda. So what is simple notification service SNS? So as name suggests, it basically provides notification uh, on a sub sub pub model, subscriber publisher model. So notification is, for example, I do something, something happens, it triggers an event and it goes and notify to some other third party. That's SNS. Again, as far as I've seen and looked at and search all the documentation, all the developer guide, SNS doesn't provide again uh, any of that feature of throttling and, and controlling. So that's not an option either in my view. We'll also look at Lambda, AWS, AWS Lambda. And Lambda is nothing but serverless functions. You might have heard of features like um, where uh, you make a request for uh, Alexa or uh, Siri or some other uh, like um, tools and then they, they provide and then get gives a response. Or you might do a serverless where you don't need to worry about the actual fun like underlying infrastructure. You give them a task and they will get a response to you. That's serverless functions Lambda. Again, Lambda alone does not provide any throttling. Um, or if you go with, because it's a SNS, I'm going to rule out my uh, 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 here, this particular feature here on, on this uh, AWS Lambda or this option number three. Now, um, if you look at elastic load balancer, elastic load balancer is nothing but gives you a load balancing uh, facility for HTTP level or network level. Uh, so your um, uh, so your network layer layer based or HTTP layer based uh, traffic load balancing. Now there is by default that doesn't come with the throttling. You can use WAF, which is a web application firewall level throttling, and there's some throttling, but that doesn't go very well with like the data transfer I'm trying to say here, which is my big data analytics. Now AWS Lambda again, there are some throttling feature, but then you start getting an error with AWS Lambda if you do use just Lambda. And given that it's a big data analytics application or company, they want to use architecture. Uh, so big data, they're definitely be using Kinesis. So looking at all these options, option A looks the best option out of these, and we can rule out B, C, and D. So you can click and check on this. Again, uh, this is I'm using to see the explanation and see what the answers we get here. Well, this is one of hundreds of exam questions we cover in our AWS Solution Architect certification program. And if you want to see more such questions, you can check out this URL ktonacademy.com forward slash AWS SA07 with double S here. On this page, you will see more questions. You can even download these 25 sample exam questions that will help you to prepare for your AWS Solution Architect exam. So go to this URL, click on download now, enter your name, email address, and click on the button download now. You will soon get an email with these 25 sample questions. And if you have any additional question for me, leave them inside a comment section so we can answer those questions for you. With that, let's get back to our video. So that's correct. My answer correct API gateway SQS and Kinesis is the right answer. And you can read further on the documentations that I've referred or pointed you out. So look at those uh, documentations uh, further into and there'll be explanation as well here, which talks about um, the each answers, why a particular answer is correct or not correct. I've already covered most of these things uh, for you. So with that, this is Atul. If you have any other question like that, that you want me to cover, post that question in the comment section. Uh, also, there'll be some more documentation on if you want to 
get notified about these future videos related to AWS Solution Architect certification. And I'll see you in another video with more AWS Solution Architect certification questions. So do check out your description section below.